In this episode of Inside Design Minds, I travel to the London Design Festival to meet with famed lighting luminaries in the Chelsea Design Quarter. My first stop is the John Cullen Lighting Showroom on King's Road to speak with British lighting guru Sally Story and legendary interior designer Emily Todd Hunter. Sally is the author of a book, Perfect Lighting, and is known as a presiding genius of modern lighting. Sally, you are very good at finding ways to light a space that creates depth, space, and dimension. Give us some ideas about how to do that. In a very simple way, if you have a socket in the corners of the room, you could just get in a plug-in up light if you're doing it as a retrofit. If you're there at the beginning, you could make it recessed. The other thing I've also done is, if you've got a dark room and you can light something outside, is just to light something immediately beyond the window, because that gives you the sense of feeling that the spacing goes beyond the room. And those are the sort of few tricks of the trade. Well, there are a couple of other tricks of the trade that I saw in your presentation, and one of them is to light the bathroom shower towards the back. Um, what I always do is I never use down lights in a grid. I only use them where they're required. So if I'm doing a bathroom, for example, I'll use, I'll use the down lights very close to the back wall of the shower. Similarly, a bath. If you light the back wall of the bath, it suddenly becomes more glamorous, the room seems bigger, and it's much nicer to be in because they're not directly over your head. Now Sally said something very interesting to me. You said that to backlight adds depth because it draws the eye back instead of forward. Can you kind of expand on that for people? Well, I think with anything, the eye is always drawn to the brightest points. So if you bring emphasis behind an object or behind the glass or to the back of the shower, that becomes the brightest point, so your eyes immediately drawn. Some other Sally story tips to enlarge your living space with light? Wash walls with light to create a sense of airiness and space. Light two opposite walls to make the other two unlit walls appear darker. This makes the room seem wider. In a narrow hall, light something beyond, such as a piece of art or a feature under a staircase to draw the eye to this area, creating a feeling of more space. Up like curtains for a soft, flattering pool of light. Now let's take a walk through the John Collins showroom to see some of these lighting techniques at work in a living space. The thing I love about this wine collection is it's displayed in a very contemporary way and a lot of wine collections, especially in the States, are very traditional with wrought iron and very cellar with barrels kind of look. This is a completely different interpretation and it works because of the way it's lit. It does, and it's just so simple. All this is, is a very tiny LED strip, energy efficient, low heat, which is important for a wine area. It's just sat at the back, so it's given a different effect. It's called backlighting, rather than normally wine cellars can be either in the basement or off the kitchen. So it's areas where you've got a lot of downlight and a lot of front lighting to highlight cabinets and walls, etc. So here we've just created a completely different look by putting the LED strip at the back and using it as backlighting instead. So here's a great example of how smart strategic lighting design can really enhance a space. This kitchen is very modern, it's very Italian looking, it looks very expensive. Actually it's from a very affordable major brand out there, but here's why it looks so high end. Check out the shelving. Again, this is just one of those really simple effects, but it is so stunning to look at. This is a very simple LED tape that is at the back of the shelf, you can see that and it's set right at the back of some etched glass shelves. It, this works because it, the light catches on the edge of the shelf and on the centre where it's etched. And again, it's LED, it's low energy. We're not burning tons of energy just to create this effect. Check out how the kitchen changes colours. To set the mood or dial up the fun, colour changing RGB slinky LED linear strips are used behind the backsplash and at high and low points in the kitchen. During the day, you can work by the light of white, and at night, amp it up to blue or purple. Emily Todd Hunter is both a well-known UK interior designer and a major home interiors brand with a line of lighting, fabrics, wallpaper, rugs, and other products. Now, Emily, I want to talk to you about what you're seeing in the world of design in terms of style and trends. I think there's a move towards traditional design, somewhat. 
I think that people are using pattern and colour more. I think that um, I think people are using less bling, less, less glitz, less mirror, less shiny objects, more dry things. You know, I keep being asked for dry, well, wanting to do very dry surfaces on walls and dry furniture and textural, very textural um, timbers and quite, quite cosy, rustic, very dry pebble and plaster finishes and yeah. That's 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 really pretty much I think that's and there's also there's a hint of this um, Danish antique kind of feeling. I don't know if you're getting that over there, but we get that's quite sort of of the moment I would say. Emily suggested that I check out her line of lighting across the street on display at the Best and Lloyd showroom. This British lighting company has a storied legacy dating back to 1840. We're here in the Chelsea Design Quarter in London, and all up and down King's Road are showrooms filled with museum quality pieces for the home, one-offs, works of art, and right now I could not resist walking into Best and Lloyd's showroom. They have lighting that literally works as sculpture and art for the room. Owner Sam Woodward introduces me to the design discipline of fine art glass. One of the things that I find so intriguing with your showroom and the pieces here is that you literally scout out artists and it's not traditional lamp makers, lighting designers, you go to shows and... We do, we, we basically go to art shows, um, we go to the opening of student ceramicist conference, um, exhibitions, glass blow conventions and we just find people who are doing something different, something very interesting which is, is work in its own right and has, it will last, it will stay an important piece in your collection. What is this called? Uh, this is the Oyster Chandelier and each of the pieces has a fluid sea creature type uh, name to it, which really embodies the artist's view that these are a really very individual and fluent. Um, and the way they reflect light is, and each one just reflects the light back. It reflects the colours of the room, it reflects every, every aspect. Sam says gym light fixtures are having a moment in design. Lighting with gold, gilt, bronzes and textured finishes are adorning Lux living spaces. For more in-depth lighting tips, subscribe to my blog, Halspiration.com and keep watching for more tips and inspiration as we delve deep into the next design mind.